She is this tiny lady with the biggest heart. She's more than a mom. She's my best friend. My mom had suicidal thoughts. I want people to know that if you are having depression or if you know someone who's having depression, they really need professional help. And it's not something you should feel ashamed about. When Harry Gao moved from China to Australia to study, he made sure he spoke with his mom every weekend. We talk about anything and we share everything. But it's what she wasn't saying that worried him. I could tell that she was in a very bad place. She wanted to just stay at home and not doing much. She was diagnosed with depression, a mental health condition that is sometimes still misunderstood. She had a perfect life, you know, she, had, she came from a good family, she had a good career. Some people would say, are you demanding too much in life? Are you being greedy? Experts say stigma around mental health can cause major harm. People don't feel as accepted, they feel judged, or even the fear of being disadvantaged if they talk about mental illness openly. Harry thought some time in Australia might help his mum. In my mind, I thought if if I can make those emotions go away, then my mum will be happy again. This photo was taken as Harry greeted his mum at the airport. Over the next few months, he came to realise the change of scene wasn't going to be enough. She lost the ability to feel happiness. His mum showed little interest in anything around her, something that is common for people with depression. They feel intensely sad and low for long periods of time, lasting weeks, months, even years, and sometimes without clear apparent reasons. Harry says towards the end of his mum's trip, she seemed better. He hoped she'd turn the corner, but depression can be deceiving. And within a few short months, Harry received a phone call from his dad. I knew that my mum was gone. My mum always said to me that I, I want you to be happy. So at my mum's funeral, I didn't, I didn't cry much. My mum wouldn't want to see us, you know, this way. And, and we should be strong for her. It's the fact that I didn't know much about this illness makes it hurt so much. Harry believes had he better understood depression, he could have done more to ensure his mum was getting proper treatment. I blame myself for that, um, but that's just something that I have to live with. But he now wants to use that experience to help others. People's lack of knowledge, that makes it harder for us to have an open discussion. But I think it's time that we should change that. A good place to start is the Beyond Blue website where you can read about the warning signs and treatment options. And if you're in Australia and need someone to talk to, you can call Beyond Blue 24 hours a day and they'll point you in the right direction. Harry is determined to celebrate his mum's spirit. Lots of happy memories. I just feel very, very lucky that I can call her my mom. While urging other families to talk openly about their feelings. Never be afraid to seek help and never be afraid to offer it.